everyone. My name is Ananda Evelyn Bunga Minana. You can call me Alin. I'm from State Polytechnic Kujung Pandang, majoring electrical engineering. And now, I want to tell you about hydropower plant. Hydropower or hydroelectricity refers to the conversion of energy from flowing water into electricity. It is considered a renewable energy source because the water circle is constantly renewed by the sun. This is the picture of that part. There are reservoir, dam, generator, transformer, powerhouse, power lines, intake, control gate, penstock, turbine, and then outflow. The first is reservoir. Reservoir is employed to store water which is further light to generate power by running the hydroelectric turbines. The second is dam. Dam is rice water for storage. The third is search tank. A search tank is a small reservoir or tank in which the water level rises. The next is penstock. The function of penstock is allow water to the turbine through pain inlet hole. And the next is spillway. Excess accumulation of water endanger the stability of dam construction. Also, in order to avoid the overflow of water out of the dam, especially during rainy season, spillways are provided. And the next is intake and pen house. In intake, there are two parts trace rig and forby. The function of forby is store water which is rejected by plant and then water convey from forby to penstock through intake structure. Trace rig prevent entry of debris. And the next is powerhouse. There is two part in powerhouse. Generator and turbines. One of the first uses of hydropower was for mechanical milling, such as grinding grains. Modern hydro plants produce electricity using turbines and generators where mechanical energy is created when moving water spin rotors on a turbine. This turbine is connected to an electromagnetic generator which produce electricity when the turbine spins. Hydro plant facilities can be categorized into three size large small and micro the large is more than 30 megawatts the small is 100 kilowatt until 30 megawatt and then micro less than 100 kilowatt Hydropower is the large contributor of all renewable energy source and accounts for 6.7% of worldwide electricity production. Further growth of this major technology may be possible. So many countries have already developed cost effective sites. Hydropower is an abundant, low-cost surge power, despite 
height and front building cost. It is also a flexible and reliable source of electricity compared to other renewable options, as it may be stored later and later time. Damage reservoirs can also help with food control, be a reliable water supply, and may be used for refractional purpose. However, there are many concerns with hydropower, particularly large dust facilities. Damming a river has a significant impact on the regional ecosystem by flooding upstream landscape, disrupting habitat for wildlife, blocking fish passages, and often displacing local communities. In addition, the valleries can be catastrophic, further disrupting landscape and climbing the leaves of the downstream. Finally, hydro plants are not completely free of greenhouse gas emissions. As with most from energy, carbon dioxide emissions occur during construction, particularly a result of the large quantities of salmon use and loss of vegetation in food areas creates methane, another greenhouse gas. As it matter degrees underwater, that's hydropower. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until it's finished, I hope you like it and don't get bored to watching it. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe this channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!